the tree of life, how sweet the fruit, with God as life complete. I once was dead, but now I live, was starved, but now I eat. I had never heard of that song before, but I like the words of it. This is a good song that goes along with the what I want to talk to you about this morning. Hope y'all had a great night rest. Today is March 25th. It's Friday. Looks like it's going to be a good day to get out and get some sunshine because it looks like we've got some cold weather this weekend. I don't know if it's late enough to consider it the Easter snap or not, but uh, it does look like it's going to be a little cold, a little little um, uh, windy this weekend, so y'all might want to get out and make the best of it today and get a little bit of sunshine if it's hopefully you're getting sunshine in your locations. Um, today we're talking about the spiritual gift of eating of the tree of life. That's why I was looking for a song about trees because we're talking about eating of the tree of life. We first hear about the tree of life in Genesis chapter 2 verses 8 and 9. It says, The Lord planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed, and out of the ground the Lord made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life was also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So the tree of life was in the garden at the beginning of creation in Genesis. Then in verses 16 and 17 it says, And the Lord commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in that day that you eat of it you will surely die. God had told Adam that he could eat of any tree of the garden except for the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So he was able to eat of the tree of life any time he wanted to. Of course, we know that Adam and Eve ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and they were kicked out of the garden. In Genesis 3, 22 and 23, it says, Then the Lord said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put his hand out and take also of the tree of life, and eat and live forever, therefore the Lord sent him out of the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. They no longer had access to the tree of life, and they would no longer live forever. There are several verses in Proverbs that refer to the tree of life. Proverbs 3.18 says that wisdom is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Proverbs 11.30 says, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. Proverbs 13.12 says that hope is a tree of life. I believe that all three of these verses refer to our Jesus and our relationship with him. He is wisdom. If we have hope in him and put on his righteousness, we can live forever. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30 says, But of whom you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, He made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf, 
so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. But now the right uh, excuse me in Romans 3:21 through 23 it says but now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed being witnessed by the law and the prophets even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ to all and on all who believe for there is no difference for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God so in a way we can still eat from the tree of life Jesus made a way for us God gave us the tree of life in Genesis he gave his son Jesus so that we can have righteousness and then Jesus says in Revelation 2 7 he that hath an ear let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches to him that overcomes will I give to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of God we have to continue to follow Jesus and overcome the world with him and eat from the tree of life so that we can live forever with him we need to partake of the tree of life so that wraps it up for today be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already and feel free to share these lessons with your friends and family on YouTube or on Facebook let us pray Father God we thank you for your gift of the tree of life we thank you for your son Jesus that you sent to die for us that we can have forgiveness for our sins and we can also have healing in our bodies your word says that by Jesus stripes we were healed and Father God I believe that and I believe most of the people listening believe that that by Jesus stripes we are healed and so father we just pray for healing into these people into their bodies Lord God Lord God as they put their faith and their trust in you Lord God that you would show yourself faithful you would show yourself trustworthy Lord God your word says that you are the great physician your word says that you are Jehovah Rapha the God who heals us so father God we just believe for that healing in our bodies Lord God we believe for that healing in our our physical bodies and also in our spiritual bodies Lord God we know that we need help in our spirit Lord God because your word says that we should walk in the spirit and not in the flesh so father I pray that for my friends and my family that are watching Lord God that they would be healed in their bodies and in their minds Lord God and they would walk in the spirit and not in the flesh and father God as as always we continue to lift up the people in the Ukraine Lord God especially the Christians that are there Lord God we pray even for the Jews that are there Lord God we know that the Jews are your chosen people and Lord God we just pray that they would seek you and they would find you and find Jesus in all of this mess Lord God that they would know that he is Yeshua HaMashiach Lord God he is the Messiah that they have been looking for so father God we just lift them up to you and father God we pray that you would help us to follow you today in Jesus name we pray amen amen I hope y'all have a great day today uh, if you can get out and enjoy some sunshine today and I hope to have you back here tomorrow Thank mm -hmm. you.